past five months of bulking, I've been able to put on 26 pounds, which is the first time in my life I've ever successfully put on any muscle at all. And this week is officially my last week of bulking before I decide to trim down. So I'm gonna take you through a week in my life, what I eat, how I sleep, my daily routines, and my workouts that have allowed me to put on 26 pounds of muscle over the last five or six months. To follow along on a day-to-day -day basis, check out my Instagram at i'm.the.ryan or my website realwithryan.com and make sure you stick around to the end of the video because the results are gonna be crazy. And now it's time for bulking. So pretty much every single morning of my bulk has started with a bowl of protein oatmeal and a black coffee. This oatmeal has been a great meal to start off each day of my bulk because it's a great source of protein and calories. It's really easy to make and it gives me a lot of energy to get through the first part of my day. It's time to fuel up. And now that I've had my coffee and breakfast, it's time for me to get to work, which luckily I can do from home most days. Now after a few hours of working, it's time for me to eat lunch. And usually for lunch, I'm just eating leftovers from the dinner I had the night before. And my lunch is pretty simple. It really consists of three things. One, a protein. Two, a vegetable. And three, carbs. Usually, I'll have all of these things already made up from the night before, but I ran out of my carbs. So I'm gonna pop some of these sweet potatoes in the oven and call that the carbs for my lunch. Here is today's lunch. Leftover chicken we had cooked last night, leftover Brussels sprouts, some tomatoes, feta cheese, and of course the sweet potato. So my work day is done and that means it is workout time. So I have a little bit of pre-workout because I'm tired and a Rice Krispie treat. Today is a heavy chest day, which is my favorite as long as I can get on the bench. Well, looks like me and everyone else in the town decided to come to the gym, so. Hopefully I'll be able to get my stuff done. Back from the gym and had a great chest workout. As you can see, my workout routine when bulking uh, consists of mostly heavy lifting days. And I don't do a ton of workouts, but whenever I do, I do mostly low uh, amounts of sets and close to the highest amount of weight that I can push. So definitely an emphasis on pushing heavy weight and gaining strength. Time for my protein shake with milk. And here is tonight's dinner. So we've got leftover chicken breast, sweet potatoes I cooked earlier, and unfortunately I ran out of Brussels sprouts earlier, so the last veggie I have in the house is tomatoes. Last but not least, the last thing I do is a scoop of casein protein powder before bed. This is slow digesting protein, and it's helped me with my bulk. So I'm all cleaned up, finished my last protein shake, and now it's ready to say goodnight to Monday. And good morning to Tuesday. Good thing about the office is free snacks. I'm home for lunch and I'll say I am not necessarily excited nor proud of lunch today. I'm having a couple hot dogs, leftover sweet potatoes from yesterday and some more leftover chicken. Not the most healthy nor the most tasty lunch, but it's a lot of calories, a lot of protein and it'll get me through the day. Finished work for a few hours, took a pre-workout. Now it's time to get a back day in. So hopefully I can get the deadlifts.
right, so tonight we're using up the last of the food in the house to cook up chorizo, street tacos, mushrooms, and Brussels sprouts. So this is gonna be dinner and lunch tomorrow. Here's dinner, sweet potatoes, mushrooms, Brussels sprouts, and some chorizo street tacos. So it's Tuesday night, finished dinner, weighed in, gonna get cleaned up and go to bed. And I took a nap earlier and wanted to just mention briefly the importance of sleep for my bulking workout. I do place a pretty high importance on sleep and getting enough sleep. I usually try to aim for eight hours of sleeping a night. I don't have a super strict bedtime or waking up time, but I usually go to bed on weeknights somewhere between 10 and 11 p.m. And I usually wake up somewhere between 7 and 7.45 a.m. I also have this little guy called an Uller, which cools my bed. I sleep with my mattress water cooled to 60 degrees. So it's nice and cool. I sleep really well. Using my Whoop band, I also track my sleep. So if my sleep starts to fall off, then I'll look at what's happening and make sure that I get back on the sleep game. But for Tuesday, that's enough talking about sleep. It is time to get to sleep. Halfway through the week, it is Wednesday. Unfortunately, I ran out of my protein oatmeal, uh, which means we're gonna have to go to Walmart tonight and get groceries. So this morning I have four eggs, some cheese and toast, a pretty classic breakfast. Wednesday's lunch is simply leftovers from last night. You're welcome. Is that you? So we are now home from Walmart and have our groceries. Relatively standard mix, except for they had chicken wings for the first time in like three months. So uh, I got all the chicken wings they had at the store, gonna free some, but mostly chicken. We have some things to make some pastas, ingredients, a little bit of fruit and plenty of veggies. And that is the trip. Even though we got all of our groceries, I'm still eating the same leftovers. Street tacos, mushrooms, and Brussels sprouts. So since it was a long day at work and we went and got groceries after work when I normally work out, today is gonna be a rest day. So no gym time today, but instead me and Emily are gonna do a little bit of yoga. All right, here. Pick something. Thursday morning brings us yet another bowl of protein oatmeal and a black coffee. Thursday's lunch consisted of a sweet potato, mushrooms, Brussels sprouts, and two tuna packets. So letting my um, pre-workout kick in and getting a haircut, today is shoulders and arms, so a nice workout day. Back from the gym, got a new record on the overhead press, which is an awesome shoulder day, and Emily made pasta. So I don't even know what this is, but a nice, tasty, spicy, cheesy pasta and a protein shake is gonna do it for dinner tonight. For the past two or three months, I've been recording every single workout that I have on Evernote. Basically, what I've done here is create a little sheet, kind of like an Excel file, and every single day, there's a few things that I write down from each of my workouts. The first thing I'll write down is the date. And then, if I happen to get my weight, I also track that one time per day. Then, I'll say which major muscle group I'm hitting, such as back, chest, or legs. I'll write down what is the main lift, so bench press or squat or deadlift. And then, since I've been on a bulking workout, I'm trying to gain strength, so I'll write down the heaviest set that I did for each of the main lifts. And finally, if there's any notes from that workout, I'll jot those down too. So, if I had any pain, or if I felt really good, or whatever it might be, I'll leave that in my note column. But that will do it for Thursday. It's time to go shower, weigh in, and go to bed and get ready for Friday. A wonderful Friday to work at home, eat my protein oatmeal, and drink some coffee. Friday's lunch is leftover pasta and Brussels sprouts. Yummy.
So as you can tell, I wasn't doing heavy squats or anything, and that's because a few weeks ago, I hurt my knee. So I've been taking it slow on my leg days, doing some rehab and stability work. It's time for about a quarter mile in the pool and then a treat. So I ended up swimming about a half mile. I was having a great time, did all the different strokes. And now it is a hot tub treat. So uh, at least once a week, sometimes twice a week, I like to get in the hot tub and just do some stretches, stretch my legs out, relax. And this is actually um, with this fourth workout this week is all four of the workouts I kind of do. So my rotation actually starts again and tomorrow we'll be back on chest day. So time to relax, stretch out and enjoy the hot tub. Tonight's dinner is air fried Asian chicken thighs, peas and rice. And of course, since it's Friday night, I'm gonna treat myself to a couple beers. So it is Saturday, stayed up a little too late last night, drinking a little too much. So it's been a slow Saturday, uh, but today didn't feel like lifting heavy, but I did feel like playing some sports. So I'm gonna play basketball for a little bit and then maybe play a little bit of racquetball just to have fun and keep it interesting. finished up playing racquetball and basketball and uh, felt like I wanted a little more so changed and I'm swimming a few laps before getting in the hot tub again. Saturday night's meal is more air fried chicken thighs, peas, sauteed bell peppers, and rice. Time for the final weigh in. 190. There we go. I just got back from my final lift of my bulk. It was one last chest day. I did bench press and I crushed a new PR, which was my goal PR for this bulk. I hit 185 pounds on the bench press, which I've been working to hit for almost two years now. But without further ado, let's see what are the final results. Here are the final results. I have gained 26 pounds since August. I'm so excited about these results. This is the first time in my entire life where I've gone to the gym and been able to actually put on a good amount of weight with most of that being muscle. You could probably tell that there's definitely some fat that came along with that weight. And that was all part of the process for me because I've struggled to gain weight so much in the past. I accepted gaining a little bit of fat as a consequence of gaining a lot of muscle. So I'm officially 190 pounds, the heaviest and strongest that I have ever been in my life. And this week kind of walked through my routine over the last six months or so, what I've ate, how I've slept, the workout routines I do, and the other lifestyle choices that aid in me gaining all of this muscle in the past six months. I hope you enjoyed this journey and this week in my life and maybe learned a thing or two that you can implement into your own. I'm super excited about the results that I have and I'm even more excited about the next stage of my athletic journey. Because after tonight, which is Super Bowl Sunday, I'm gonna pig out, and then I'm going right back onto the slow carb diet. And from there, I'm hoping that I can keep this muscle, but start cutting away all the fat that I gained over the last few months as well. And hopefully in the next three to four months of doing it, I'll be in shape and shredded for the summer season and ready to participate in all the different sports and activities that I love. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or consider subscribing because it helps me and helps the algorithm show this video to others. And if you want to participate and see these journeys as they're happening, follow me at im.d.ryan on Instagram or check out realwithryan.com. But thank you for watching this video and as always, thank you for keeping it real with Ryan.